Hello. Husky's back again with more NHL 17, this time something a little different. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing my franchise mode commentary instead of uh, Hockey Ultimate Team. Uh, take a little bit of a break from Hockey Ultimate Team, I'm starting to get a little too frustrated with the games. And if it's frustrating, it's not fun. So, take a break, I'll do a franchise commentary. I'm going to take over the Minnesota Wild. They're a team in an interesting spot. Uh, perennial playoff team, or at least they should be, with the pieces they have. Uh, goaltending was an issue the past couple of years. Dubnik was brought in and really stole the show, I think, two years ago. Um, I am, he's a good goalie. I don't know if he's going to lead him to a cup. Um, if you have a good roster, they're rather young. What you're seeing is me just setting up everything. All right, continue. Probably should overview. 25 years superstar. No, I'm not gonna go 25 years in this. I'll probably go because the division or not the divisions. The rosters are a little whacked out still because the season hasn't started. I'll uh, I'll probably do five or six, seven seasons. Um, and then by the time that the rosters are actually out and they're good enough to use, I'll start another one up. And but my goal for the wild is. I'd be dumb to not say cup year one, but I don't know if I have the depth to make a deep playoff run. Um, I think my highest goal, obviously, Stanley Cup, I think my realistic goal is this second round of the playoffs, maybe 50 wins, between 45 and 50 wins. I'm going to need that amount of wins with the Central Division being so good. But uh, let's uh, start this up and see what the lines are that I'm working with here. Now the Wild kind of retooled their team when they brought in um, Ryan Suter and Zach Prezi a couple years ago. That was the big splash that was supposed to put them over the top. Um, I mean, it got them to the playoffs and they looked really good throughout the first season that they had them. But they fizzled out in the playoffs, getting swept by the Blackhawks. I think is either the Blackhawks that swept them or somebody else. I honestly don't remember. Um, but yeah, let's look at the look at the lines. Uh, Zach Parise. Oh, um, sure. Zach Parise, Mika Kovey, Nino Niederreiter. Good, good top line. Uh, right wing's a little weak in terms of overall. Um, but he's a good young player. He should get a little better. He's only got two more years of um, advancement and overall. Once they hit 26, they peak and can only go down. Uh, Koivu's 33. I don't know how long he'll be on the team. Parise's 32. He's making a buttload of money. Um, him, him, yeah. That first line really is going to depend on... Paris a feeding eater writer, but we'll see. Second line is Eric Stahl, Michael Granlund, and Jason Pominville. Again, two older players with a younger player. Uh, no real scores on that line, so I might change that line up. I might drop Pominville to the third line. Just to try to get some type of offense there, because three playmakers usually doesn't go very well. Uh, Eric Stahl signed a very friendly cap friendly deal at three and a half million considering I think he was making seven on his Carolina deal um, should be a solid second line player I'm not gonna if I drop anybody on this line it'll be Pominville or it'll be I'll swap Granlin for Coyle but they're both projected to be the same uh, potential Close with the power forward or Granlin's a playmaker. I think Pominville and Stewart. I'll swap those two and I'll just swap them now. I feel like Chris Stewart will be better on that second line. Um, third line is Jason Zucker, Charlie Coyle, and now Jason Pominville was Chris Stewart. I guess I'll leave him like it was to like go over everything. Uh, this is the defensive line, ideally two power forwards and a two-way forward. Uh, see, I kind of want to put the... I won't get to it. Uh, Zucker's a good young forward, showed some good offensive skills the past couple seasons. Chris Stewart's kind of 
he's in an interesting spot. Look at his career stats. It's at 36 points, 26 points. I mean, he's a solid third liner. That minus 26 though is pretty bad. Penalty minute guy. I mean, he's a gritty player. He fits in with that line, but that fourth line of Fleischmann, Halla, and Fontaine. Honestly, I want to swap the third line and the fourth line because the third line is going to be scoring with two playmakers. Or if anything, I just move Zucker to the fourth line. Oh, but I don't want to do that because... Man, this is tough. I think what I'll do... There's no sense of putting a sniper on this second line with two power forwards and a two-way forward. Uh, I think I'll put Fleischmann, Zucker, I'll swap them too. Because Zucker is not going to get much better than an 82. Uh, Hollow is not going to get much better than any. Nobody on this team is going to get much better than they currently are. Except maybe Niederreiter might hit an 87. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and swap Palmanville and Stewart and Zucker and Fleischmann. Maybe that fourth one will give us some scoring. Uh, the defense is really where this team shines, I feel. Uh, with Ryan Suter and Jonas Brodeen as your top pair. Brodeen only is going to get better. He should hit a 88, 89, hopefully a 90. Not holding my breath. Uh, Scandella and Spurgeon both really cap out at 85 at the most, probably. Um, but again, still, good young players. Uh, Scandella and... They're both getting paid. Contracts are going to really be an issue here when I have to resign Doomba. Oh, I've got Doomba. Ideally, Doomba should play where Spurgeon is. Because he should get to an 86 or an 87 overall. Two or three years in. Mike Riley might get to an 84. So I might swap my second and third pairing. This defense is going to be sick if I can afford to keep them all. Uh, then on the goalies, we have Dubnik and Darcy Kemper. Dubnik's an 88, which is technically a top 10 goalie. Um, oops, not options. Career stats. 32 and 32 last year in his full f full season. 36 and 18 and is really coming to light, moving from Edmonton to Arizona and then Arizona to... Minnesota, where Minnesota, he really took off. But prior to that, I mean, he's nothing special. Granted, all four of these seasons are with the Edmonton Oilers, and they never had any defense. I mean, his goals against the average is still 257, 267, 271. I mean, the 357 in his first NHL season, that's kind of expected, but it goes up here. I don't know. He's going to be a big question mark for me. Kemper, I mean, he's going to be a backup, a solid backup. Dubnik might be moved in favor of... Ben Bishop is on a... He's a pending UFA at the end of the season. So if I can swap out uh, Dubnik for Bishop, I might do that. Depending on what the money situation is. What does Dubnik make? Because Bishop's going to want 7. He makes 4.5. So for 5 years of 4.3, I might hold on to him just to, regardless, because that is a very friendly cap hit. But yeah, this team shouldn't have any problem scoring. Uh, and they shouldn't have any problem keeping the puck out of their own net. So I don't really see a downside to this team aside from it's a little on the older side. And we are pretty average all the way through. Um, but if we look at our AHL system... Uh, Zach Dalpy. I mean... Erickson... I, I gotta look at the actual roster moves page to get a better understanding of the prospects on this team. Because when I think... Um, manage rosters. Roster moves. Because when I think of this team, I don't entirely understand what their prospects are, for the most part, uh, in the system. Victor Bartley's a good young defenseman. No, he's not. He was. Um, do these guys have any, like, star... Those are, these are current roles, aren't they? Uh, this team really doesn't strike me as... This is definitely a win-now team, because they're... <laughs> they don't have much of anything in terms of... 
quality prospects, at least according to this game. They might have something in real life that doesn't translate. I guess these two guys, Olofsson and Eriksson Eck. A 75 is a 19, alright, so that must be their... He was drafted first round two years ago. Second round draft pick. Who was their first round pick? Do they not have one? Oh, they might not have had one. Yeah, none of these are really high draft picks, they're all low picks. So I guess Eriksson Eck and Olofsson are the two big ones. 19 year old and 21 year old. That's gonna be rough if we don't win right away. Um, I don't really have a lot of trade bait then. I guess I'll put them on the top pairing. Until they get time. What about goalies? I forgot to look at goalies. Stalock and Gustafson. Gustafson. So we'll put him as a starter. That's all we've got, right? This kid. Backup. Steve McCulloch. You know what? I'll probably put him in instead of Stalock. Oops. Messed that up. Wait, who's this? Fringe starter. Yeah, we'll stick with we'll stick with this pair and go from there. Um, I think I'm gonna turn injuries off for the sim because all it does is slow it down. I'll turn it on for the playoffs, but injuries are still pretty a, just a big occurrence in this game, way more than they actually would be. I'll make sure double check who the captain is on. Oh, that's the HL team. I took the Minnesota Wild, not the Iowa Wild. There we go. Captains and jerseys. Uh, Koivu, Parise, and Suter. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep Koivu. I might use him as trade bait, depending on how the season goes. If we're not a playoff team, it'll definitely be a... It'll be an option to move to bring in some young picks. Bottom of the 8 zero, 0 Sorry, I have game one of the Cubs on. Uh, well, then we'll look at the little mini game stuff for being a franchise mode. Um, all this stuff is not really. It's you're not gonna have any issue with any other revenue. What do I have to upgrade and maintain? I have to maintain. Why is the bathroom is always bad in every team? Like, take care of your bathrooms. To repair the bathrooms and for an owner goal to give me more money I have to upgrade the concessions so that's a goal met I will go back to that list and see what my owner goals actually are I have my own personal goals but he's got this is 85% of available suites as a serious thing I want us to improve our top six forward group huh okay fully expect us to make the playoffs Okay, so I have to make the playoffs and improve my top six. Top six is what? Um, Parise, Koivu, Niederreiter, Stahl, Granlin, Stewart. So I guess I could try to move... I don't have much to move, man. I don't have much to trade at all. I'd have to trade draft picks to improve my top six. Well, let's see what my trade values are. I'm not going to try to improve them right away. Trade and scout. Trade block. Edit. Arrive on there now. First round, first round, and uh, Mitchell. Cool. Alright, so trade value. Suter, Parise, Dumba. I guess Dumba is the. God, it's, it's Dumba, not Dumba. Rodin, I see, I, this team is definitely, their, their quality players have already aged to the point where they're in the NHL system. Oh, Pobbettville, like, I'm not going to be able to move any of these kids. Uh, even the two guys I pegged as decent prospects are rather low with Olofsson and Eric Snack. Maybe he'll turn into something good, though. Top six forward. He's 19. Uh, Skandella or Spurgeon might be a trade move to make. 
let's look at my defense. At least to try and get top six back, I can afford to bring Victor Bartley or uh, Folin. Folin? I don't know. Folin? Folin? I'll probably call it Bartley because I know how to say his name. Nate Prosser's another guy. So I have a 6D man I can call up if I want to move Spurgeon or Scandella for a top six forward. The only issue is. I don't know what teams would. Why did they have Datsuk on the block? I removed him from the... Hmm. See, this is what bugs me, is Datsuk's in the game and someone's going to trade for him. He should be somewhere else. I removed him, but I guess I used the wrong rosters, so whatever. We'll go with it. Redeem Verbata might be uh, someone to look at. What's his overall? Uh, Verbata. He's an 84. That really doesn't improve my top six. Dominic Moore, Tom Michael Eisen, Chara, first round pick, and two guys I've never heard of. Michael Leighton, no thank you. Uh, Jerome Genla. This is overall. He's an 84. Again, that probably doesn't help me. Zetterberg, Franzen, Cronwell. Zetterberg's an 89. That would really improve, but. If I want to keep this realistic, they're not going to try. I mean, they've got young forwards. So maybe they would move them. But man, that's that's tough. I don't know if they'd do that. Happy to see you, Shahan. That might be something to come back to, but I highly doubt they would trade Zetterberg. I know he's on the block, but... What do they want? They want defense, so I mean, I could technically trade them Spurgeon and probably a pick for Zetterberg. They want draft picks. They want a first that are they want one, two, and threes. We'll come back to Detroit. They might be an option. All three picks: Yarmir Yager, Vernon Fiddler, and then these teams. Like I'll get to Vancouver, and I guarantee they'll have both the Sedins. Yep. What are the Sedin's overalls? 85? 88s. That's, see, ideally, in real life, they wouldn't trade either of those guys, though. I find myself trying too hard to make this realistic. They're a hopeless, or not hopeless, hopeful status. Hopeful champion, so they're further expected to win the cup. Builder, rebuilder. Well, here, let's uh, let's see if I can get him. Who would I want to trade, Spurgeon or Scandella? Who's making more? Four million. So Spurgeon's making more, and he's always he's also better. So that puts me pretty even. Let's propose. Let's see what they tell me. Can live with what you're asking, so we're glad you're paying your attention to our tree block. That seems that you've done the right meeting our block needs, but need value is not sufficient. So they need more. I've given them what they wanted. I also want a goalie. I'm not giving them a goalie. I don't have any forwards. Oh, I mean, I am trading to get a... F I don't feel like Spurgeon and Chris... Yeah, plus that means now they've got too many players, and I don't think they have anybody else. Yeah. I mean, I could take on Franzen. Let's pursue what I get. Fine with coughing up what you have our way. Fine, it would seem that our trade box plus came in handy, however, the value is just a little low. This also puts me over to cap limit, but Franzen would immediately go to the miners. I wouldn't even use them. So let's uh let's throw in a third next year. All right, so the deal's done. Franzen and Zetterberg are now Minnesota Wild players. I don't know if that's entirely realistic. 
it's impossible to keep this realistic with. The, the AI always wants to trade older players. I think Zetterberg's only got two years left on him. So... Try roster moves. How far in this video are we? Hey, one nothing Cubs. Let's go. 20 minutes in. I'm going to try to keep this below 30 minutes. Um, who's here? I want to send down... Schroeder and... Oh, did Franzen imme go immediately to the miners? Shit. What's my cap space? I have no cap space. Oh boy. <laughs> That's okay. Who, who got sent down? Fontaine. And Maker. Ah. Actually, that's fine. I'll put Riley as the top pairing on the... Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna put me below cap space, but... I shouldn't need both of these players. Shit. Did I cancel? Um, I want to use Fontaine. I already called him up. Let's send you down. I can't send anybody else down. It's fine. Roster must be compliant. Auto fix roster. Oh, I don't think I should have done that. I mean, granted, that probably just Zach Dalby. Why is he up here? Zetterberg. Well, I mean, that improved my top six, right? Ideally. Playmaker power forward, two way forward. What does Dalby make? Makes six. What's my defense look like? Bartley and Prosser. As opposed to Riley and. Oh, that hurts my defense. I don't. I'm starting to regret doing that trade because now my cap space is all fucked up. Roster moves. I got 1.75 or 0.175. Dalby Prosser. Oh man, I want to call up Fontaine. He makes a mill though. I just don't have the cap space for him. Unless I send somebody stupid down who I, I just obviously shouldn't. And I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and use Zach Dalpy. And Nate Prosser and Rick DeBartley. Shit. <laughs> Alright. God, we are so tight on cap, but. Koivu probably. No, Koivu probably plays for a while. He's only 33. Let's uh, mess with the trade block. I'm not going to do any simming in this first video. Uh, the simming will start in video two. This is purely just to set the team up to what I feel needed to be done. Um, trading block. Palmonville. Not a big fan of Palmonville. I don't think he really has a spot. Uh, and we'll throw. Maybe somebody will want him. Who knows? And we'll throw the first round pick up there. I don't feel I'm going to need the first round pick. I think we're good to go. We'll advance a day to see if... Okay, see if I... I did the concession upgrade. I feel like I improved our top six. Okay, those are concessions. When I added Henrik Zetterberg, you tell me that's not gonna complete my goal. All right, I'll, uh, I'll send to the start of the season, but I'm not gonna do anything after that. Just wanna see if it kicks in that I... Oh, we play the Blues game one. Allocate budgets. Uh, 
I have 630,000 left. We'll put that into arena operations. Guess I'm gonna have to provide maintenance on everything. Promotion nights, I'm not gonna do promotion nights. I can auto set, I don't really care. I'm not gonna be playing the games. That's another thing I wanna mention. This is solely simming. Uh, I'm gonna do another one with a custom team that I play every game. Come on, get to the start of the season. Waivers are in effect on the 11th. Alright. Here at day one of the season. Yeah. Goals met. I improved our top six forwards. I did Hendrik goddamn Zetterberg or whatever. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it for episode one. If you enjoyed it, these are going to be every other day. Ideally. Um, I'm going to record a few episodes. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, come back for the next couple episodes. Should be a fun time. This is something I really get into. Uh, hopefully I didn't scare you away with the, the big trade right away. Tried not to, but I said if you enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next one.